Hey there folks, Graham here. Can your synth do this? Or this? Well, this one can because it's an MPE MIDI controller capable of MIDI polyphonic expression. But what is MIDI polyphonic expression? And how does it work? Well, it's a MIDI protocol that uses standard MIDI messages to do things that normal MIDI can't do, just like you saw me demonstrating. Specifically, it enables polyphonic expression, which is effectively automation on a per note basis as opposed to a per channel basis. To demonstrate further, let me open my MIDI OX software to show you what's going on with the MIDI information. If I play a note or a chord on my MODX synth like this, you'll see we get standard note on off messages. And if I move the pitch bend wheel like this, it impacts everything at the same time as everything is being sent on the same MIDI channel channel one in this case. But now if I play a note on my Seaboard Rise, which is controlling the Equator 2 MPE software, I get this. You can see that tons of MIDI information is being sent continuously from a single key press. And if I play multiple keys like this, you'll see that all that MIDI info is being sent on different channels for each key. So what does all that mean and how does it all work? Well, first we need to understand a little bit more about how MIDI channels work. Back before software synths, musicians needed ways for hardware synths to talk to each other. So along came MIDI. It allowed a single port to carry 16 MIDI channels, which allowed a number of synthesizers to be connected together with each one set to a separate channel. All the connected synths would receive the same MIDI information, but would only respond if they were set to the same channel as the MIDI signal was being sent on. This means that each individual synthesizer was only accessing one MIDI channel. All the notes that you play on that synth are all on one channel, and any effects like pitch bend or modulation affect everything that's on that channel. This is because expression information isn't tied to individual notes, it's tied to channels. As I demonstrated earlier, if I play a chord on my MODX over behind me and move the pitch bend wheel, all the notes of that chord bend at the same time. So how is MPE or MIDI polyphonic expression different? Well, with MPE, individual notes rather than instruments are assigned to individual MIDI channels. This means that every note can have its own pitch bend, modulation, or other effects assigned to it. This does, however, constitute a trade-off as you can only assign one instrument to each MIDI port as it's using up all of the 16 channels. It also means that MP instruments are limited to 16 voice polyphony as each note is using up one of the 16 available channels. This trade-off isn't really an issue when you're using a door as you can record as many MIDI streams as you want. However, it is a bit more of a compromise when you're using hardware, which is why the majority of MPE controllers, such as the Roly Seaboard Rise, are effectively MIDI controllers rather than full-blown hardware synths. So what does all that mean in practice? Well, it means we have a whole new way of playing sounds on the controller. For example, Roly refers to these as the five dimensions of touch, which are strike, press, 
glide, slide, and lift. Strike is effectively velocity sensitivity and relates to how hard or soft you hit a key and can produce various differences to the sound, such as, say, a faster attack, like this. Press is like aftertouch, but unlike normal aftertouch, which only works when you press into the key really hard, this uses continuous pressure. As soon as you press a key, it's constantly monitoring the pressure you're applying to that key and manipulating the sound accordingly, like this. Glide is like pitch bend, and it allows you to bend between notes, say, like you would on a guitar. But it also allows you to add things like vibrato, or indeed to glide horizontally up and down like a ribbon controller, just like this. Slide allows you to slide vertically up and down a key to affect things like the cutoff, or indeed whatever you want it to control, like this. And finally, lift. This reacts to how quickly you lift your finger from the key and can introduce new sounds or effects, just like this. Also, the beauty of all this is that as each note is on a separate MIDI channel, you can manipulate one note without affecting the other notes, giving true polyphonic expression. So it's very much like polyphonic aftertouch, but so much more. For example, if I hold down a bass note with my left hand, I can then play and manipulate notes with my right hand without affecting the bass note in my left hand, just like this. Or I can say, glide two notes in opposite directions, like this. If you're diving into the world of MPE, or MIDI polyphonic expression, there's various ways to do it. There's things like the Roly Seaboard Rise that I have here. This is the original version. There is a new Rise 2 that's recently been released, along with a new version of their smaller Seaboard block. And there's their existing Lumi keyboard, which does some, but not all, of the MPE stuff that the Seaboard Rise and Blocks do. Then there's things like the Continuum, the Linstrument, or the Osmos, all of which employ a slightly different take on how you control things. The Continuum has a completely flat, continuous playing surface. The Linstrument offers a grid-style approach, and the Osmos is more along the line of traditional keys. All these controllers have their pros and cons, and each of them are capable of slightly different things. So if you're interested in any of these, I would recommend researching the products out there that are available and choosing one which you think most closely suits your needs. Also, if you get the chance to, I would highly recommend playing one or trying one out in your local music store if they've got any available, as you'll find that the playing experience is very different to playing a standard keyboard, and it may be something that you like or don't like. Well, that's about it for now on MPE. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for future content. And if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the usual place down below, and I will try my best to respond to each and every one of them. But for now, I've been Graham. Take care and catch you later. Mm -hmm.